Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have a couple things to talk about. The main one being that Sonic Frontiers might feature a Chow Garden. So, let's get right into it. So first off, we've got some Sonic Origins news. They released this new video showcasing a bunch of stuff. I will actually play it here. Skip to the timestamp on screen if you don't want to watch that. So, uh... Roll the clip. Hey! Uh, I'm talking to you. Will you slow down for a second? Ah, oh, come on, Sonic. I know you gotta go fast, but if you wanna go fast, you gotta know what you're doing. In Sonic Origins, you'll be able to re-experience the games that redefined a generation. Whether you're new to the series or have been running alongside the Blue Blur since 1991, there is a lot to look forward to in this upcoming collection. Let's talk about some of the exciting features and new additions in this episode of Speed Strats. You may already know by now that the Sonic Origins versions of Sonic 1, Sonic CD, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3 & Knuckles all have remastered visuals. Each game displays beautifully on current generation consoles. Check out this quick comparison to the original versions. Welcome to the main menu, where you can select which game or mode you want to play. For each of the four games, you can choose to play either Anniversary Mode or Classic Mode. For a trip down memory lane, Classic Mode features the original game presentation in 4x3 with remastered visuals and will play in the classic finite live and game over style. If you're looking for something new, Anniversary Mode features a full 16x9 screen display and an infinite number of lives to keep the fun going without any game overs. Fun fact, Sonic Origins includes the first ever widescreen version of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles when playing in Anniversary Mode. Yes, it's finally here. Story Mode combines all four of the games into one connected adventure. Start with Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and finish with Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Speaking of story, Sonic Origins includes a brand new animated opening and ending cutscene for each game that connects Sonic's classic adventures. And don't worry, Sonic CD fans, the game's original intro and outro are here too. Battle Dr. Eggman, Metal Sonic, and other challenging foes in Boss Rush Mode. Are you up to it? The challenge continues in Mission Mode. Take on various missions in each of the four games. The better you do, the higher your rank will be. Once you unlock Mirror Mode, you can play each game backwards? Experience these classic levels in a brand new way. Let's take a quick look at coins, which are the new currency in Sonic Origins. You can collect coins in zones by playing each game in Anniversary Mode, or by completing missions in Mission Mode. And coins can be extremely useful. If you fail a special stage in Anniversary Mode, you can use a coin to retry instantly. Coins can also be used to unlock content in the museum. Speaking of the museum, here's the museum. The Sonic series has been around for over 30 years, and you'll be able to check out some of its unique history in Sonic Origins. There's a ton of exciting content to check out, including music, concept art, and videos. You can even unlock some never-before-seen content in the Premium Collection Vault. Oh, wow. I've never seen this one before. Tails. We were watching that. Wait, does that mean you like absorbed the cutscene? You should get that checked out. Uh, I guess we'll take a break here for now and be back soon with another episode of Speed Strats. So there, it was pretty interesting. We got to see some more gameplay and fleshed out stuff of the missions mode. So, it looks pretty cool. I don't really plan on buying it because I'm not really interested in playing the Genesis games. If I want a game like that, I'll play Mania or Sonic 2. I've already got both of those. So, I mean, and I've got a Sega Genesis, so I, I'm, I'm good. I don't need it. The mission mode sounds neat, but it's that's about it for me. It's just kind of neat. 
Now, the second thing we have is Chow being in Sonic Frontiers. Now, what sort of evidence do I have to back this up? Well, there are two instances where Chow seem like they're right there. Like, it just feels like, yeah, there, there's two bits of evidence that prove my point, that Chow will be in this game. So, the first one is that in the first footage we got from IGN, we saw Sonic on this hamster wheel looking thing. And as you can see on the right, there are some little creature guys. Now, these don't directly look like a chow, but if you look at them closer, they almost look like wooden chow, like they're made out of wood or something. Now, I mean, I think they look pretty cool. You don't really get to see much of them, just like a second or two of one moving. But, you know, whatever. Those were pretty cool. Alright, so my... Alright, so my second bit of evidence, we actually see them again, but they have a little jingle, and we get to hear their voice. So, play the clip. So, there you go. I mean, just listen to that. They're playing their little drums, and as you can see, one of them does like a little flip. They're like dancing to their little drum beat, and one of them lets out the little cutest noise I've ever heard. Oh my gosh, it is adorable. I love it. Now, I don't think these are the only design for Chow. Now, as you can see, these almost look like wood, almost, which would kind of fit with the wooden theme of this island. But since we know that there's going to be at least this and a desert, well, the desert ones could look like they're made out of, like, sandstone or something else. Who knows? But with all the different Starfall Islands, we could have different themed chow for that atmosphere instead of just teleporting to some piece of grass with some chow on it kind of thing. They would be like these little companion buddies that chill in a certain area around you know, a certain part of the island. Which sounds super cool, because then it doesn't sound like, yeah, load into this little area if you'd like to take care of a chow. It's more like, hey, as you're playing, look at these little cute guys. You want to mess with them kind of thing? It's not like, you have to go to this little blocked off area. It's just kind of as you're exploring, you might want to take care of a chow, do a race, upgrade your stats kind of thing. And you know, that could add a lot of playtime to it. And since we already know that the game is supposed to take like 30 hours to beat, well, there you go. If there's a chow garden, I'll tell you, it'll be like thousands of hours that people will spend on this thing. If it's actually good. If it's not good, then I might mess with it for a little bit. Then that'd be about it. So, that's about it for this video. Make sure you let me know what your opinion is on Chow being in Sonic Frontiers. I would really appreciate that. And make sure you thumbs up this video and hit me with a sub with that bell so you can keep up with daily Sonic content. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.